Hello, today I'm going to show you how I set up my YS3M, which is currently my main 3x3. This is completely unscripted, so it's probably going to be disorganized, but I'll try to keep it concise. So I'm sure you noticed that I have two cubes here. This is a YS3 standard, and this is a matte ball core. So the setup involves swapping pieces between them, so I like having the ball core, but I don't like maglev, so I'm going to swap the centers. And I'm also going to swap the edges because for some reason having the primary edges with the blue corners feels better to me. It's possible that I over lubed the original edges on my main and switching them was just a fresh start, but I've swapped edges on two different Huamongs and it improved both of them significantly. So we're going to do that as part of the setup since we're already switching centers. I usually swap one side at a time instead of unscrewing them completely, but it doesn't really matter. So it is possible to just swap the screws and springs, but I prefer to replace the whole center because the standard one comes with the blue compression pieces and the maglev has purple. So these ones have thinner plastic and it gives the spring a little bit of extra room to flex. So swapping the whole center just makes that easier. Okay, I kind of messed up the video uh, swapping the centers on the white side, so I'm just going to show it on yellow instead. The first thing you do is unscrew both cubes. Then remove the center from each of them. The maglev center can be dropped directly into the standard cube, but before I put this in the ball core, I'm going to lube it. I use Gravitas, but anything heavy will work, like weight 5, 50k, uh, lubical black, anything like that. So I just put some lube on all of the contact points, so above the top washer, between the washer and the spring, between the spring and the bottom washer, and finally under the bottom washer. Now this goes back in the center, center goes in the cube, and then screw both of them in. Right now I'm just tightening it enough so it doesn't fall out, but I'll get even tensions later. And I will be back when I've done this for all of the sides. Alright, now that the centers are swapped, I'm going to swap the edges as well. Now that I think about it, it would probably be much more efficient to disassemble the cube entirely and do both at the same time, but I'm just going to pretend that I do this on purpose to keep track of all the pieces. Let's go with that. So, because I uh, kept the tensions loose to tension it finally later, they become much easier to disassemble. So, now I'm just going to switch the edges in these piles and then reassemble them. I think that's all of them. Uh, this cube can just be set aside now. I'm done with it for the purposes of this video, but I'll reassemble it later and just use it as a throw around cube or something. Now this one I'm just going to reassemble as normal, but with these edges with the primary torpedoes. This is probably pretty common knowledge, but just in case you didn't know, if you are reassembling a cube, you can leave the last F2L edge um, not assembled, and it makes it a lot easier to assemble the last layer. So I can just use this as sort of a keyhole to insert these pieces. So then sort of rotate it, last corner, and last edge. So now we have an assembled cube, and now I'm going to take out one more corner and edge, which again, I suppose is redundant, but not doing this on a large scale, so efficiency is less important. This is a lube combo I got from Stanley Chapel, and it works really well. So we're going to use Gravitas, 
XMT10 and Silk. And this is also a nice setup for maintenance because using Gravitas as a base means it lasts a very long time. And then these two interact with each other to create a really smooth, balanced, controllable feel. And when the cube starts feeling too fast, add a drop of Silk to slow it down. And if it feels too slow, add a drop of XMT to speed up. So I start with Gravitas on a corner track rather than an edge track. Because I found that sometimes the uh, corner track doesn't reach all the way to the back of the edge track. And then the lube just sort of builds up in this gap and doesn't get spread around. So the corner is contacting it, but not firmly enough to move it around. And then whatever side you lube initially just stays a little bit slower. And I found that that's less of an issue if you put the lube on the corner. So pretty good amount. This is arbitrary. I usually just do two of the three sides of one corner and put a little bit more on the top above where I already put it. So now I can put the corner back and then just put a little bit on the side of the edge and the top of the edge torpedo. Then break this in for a little bit, and then take a corner and edge out again, and add silk and XMT to the same contact points. So here, here, same with XMT. And then I just put these on the sides of the edge as well. These cubes do take a while to break in. And on one of the Huamongs that I set up before, it required me to clean it out and do the lube setup two or three times with a hundred or two solves in between before it really started feeling good. But that is just about how I lube it. Now we're going to go to tensions. Because I use screw depth to get my initial tensions, I like to do compression first just so I have a consistent reference point on all of the sides. So for compression, um, when I swap the centers, these can end up on a different setting. So I just go all the way around until it goes back down. And then five more clicks. And I'm going to do that on all of the sides. OK, now that compression is done, I'm going to tighten the screws to roughly the final tension. And that is where, when the compression is on five clicks, the screw head is just a little bit under it. This is a very rough position, but I will fine tune it after I get it here. So now that the screws are about even, I fine tune them by pulling it apart like this and just making it so the gaps are the same size all the way around. So this is about what I'm going for, the size of the gap on this side. So this one needs to be tightened a little bit, and I'll just go around the cube a few times until they are all even. I'll probably want to refine this a little bit more later, but this is about where I want it to be. So I'm just going to put the caps on and break it in. So that is how I set up my Huamong. Uh, I recommend trying some things, experimenting with it, finding something that works even better for you. But I think this is a pretty good starting point, and a lot of people really like my cube.
Thanks for watching.